All right, so it's going to be a very simple video. Uh, what are you going to do if you can't uh, turn on the real-time protection? So no matter what you do, it's not going to turn on. So, um, yeah, you just go to Start Menu, type CMD. And right-click. And then click Run as Administrator. Press yes, and then type SFC scan now. Okay. And yeah, just wait for some scan and result. And after after done that. I'm sure it's going to work properly. This might as well as need some restart, I guess. Wait for the ver verification to complete. All right, so as you can see, it's done. Verification 100% complete. It said Windows resource protection found corrupted files, but was unable to fix some of them so they can't fix some of them but most of them fix and you can you know turn on your real-time protection now so we're going to restart and uh hey guys so um basically after that verifying stuff uh i restart my computer and it took almost two or three hours to update some stuff i guess those are some security stuff and um I can turn on my real time and also can turn off uh, if I wanted to. So um, it's better if you turn on everything. Uh, like I'm going to turn on almost everything because uh, it will protect my computer. Uh, the reason I turn off my real time protection uh, is because I need to download a software and this uh, Defender couldn't let me download that software that is why i decided to turn it off and after that i installed that software and um, then tr trying to turn on the real time again is not just working I'm, I'm guessing that the virus is still on this computer that is why you need to do like you know that verify stuff so they will remove some of your problems and then you can like um, fix your issue but I'm, I'm not sure that how long is going to be happening like this because some of my uh, updates are like still missing like uh, they're still checking for up updates and stuff and um, they're downloading uh, Windows Defender and stuff like that so anyway if this uh, uh, help you please do subscribe if it's work for you if not then please comment below I'll try a different solution maybe um, so this uh, basically going to uninstall every single um, antivirus defender stuff and re-download again so um, yeah you can use this one it, it's i don't know it's maybe rec recommended by windows also this one and uh this is for a different reason i guess so anyway if this would help you please subscribe that will be really appreciable and um thanks for watching guys take care